Hi, this is Munson from Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can strum through a song called Funky Broadway by Wilson Pickett. And the, the main chord on, on this is going to be E major. The way you play E major, first finger is going to go to the G on the first fret, second finger is going to go to the A on the second fret, and the third finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, it makes an E major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And for the most part, our, our verse and our chorus I, actually is all going to be just this one chord. And one of my favorite strum patterns to add to a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we just took that E major and just tried that a lot. You have down, down, up, up, down, up, E, 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 down, down, up, up, E, down, down, up, up, down, up, E, down, down, up, there's a really cool lick that kind of starts off the off the tune that starts with a hammer on. And, and so you go fourth fret on the G string, and we're going to do a kind of a down pick with, with that fourth fret down. And then if you take third finger, you can kind of hammer on the sixth fret and get the sound to carry. So you want to kind of play fourth fret with the pick, and then just kind of put down the third finger to get the sound to carry the sixth fret. And then we're going to go fifth fret on the B string, but then we're going to kind of take that idea and move down a string. We're going to go to the D string and do a hammer on from four to six, but then we're going to go to fourth fret on the G string. So we got four, six, hammer on, fifth fret on the B, and then fourth fret on the D, hammer on the six, fourth fret on the G. And then we're going to kind of take that idea and do it down two frets. We're going to go down to the D string on the second fret and do the hammer on from two to four, and then do second fret on the G string. And then we're going to do the A string, um, kind of that same idea, but now shifting the string. So we're doing two, four, hammer on on the A string and going second fret on the B string. So we got all together, you got four, six, hammer on, fifth fret on the B, fourth fret, hammer on the D, fourth fret on the G, second fret on the D, hammer on the four, second fret on the G, and then A string, hammer on from two to four, and then second fret on the D. So you got, which is kind of a cool way to kind of lead off the, uh, going into that E major. But then a lot of your verse in your chorus is just going to be that one thing, it's just the E major. So a lot of times I, I like using so, some other strum patterns to kind of mix that up a little bit. And what we were doing before where we had the down, down, up, up, down, up is working off of something called an eighth note. So that down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, kind of have, has a pulse where you're dividing your foot tap into two beats. So if you kind of did your foot tap, you got one, two, one, two, one, two. A lot of times with a song like this, it can feel a lot better to do a 16th note strum pattern. Although you kind of have to go a little fast to get it to match up with the tune. But what a 16th note is, is where you take that foot tap and you divide it into four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So one of my favorite 16th note strum patterns is a long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And what I mean by that is like you do your down for four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Then on the second beat, we're going to be doing down, down, up. We're going to be doing a down on one, a down on three, and an up on four. So then you got down, down, up, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, down, up. And then on the third beat, you're doing an up on two and a down on three. So you're going one, two, three, four, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But then on the last beat, you're going down, up, down, up, right along with the one, two, three, four. So you got down. Together, you got long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down. So that would be another way to comp um, or accompany kind of your, your voice against the, the song. But then something else that I like to do with, with, a, with a song like this is I'll add in some basses. So another thing that you could do is instead of doing the first down over all the strings, you could play just the bass on the E string, and then do your down, down, up, and then do an up. And what I like to do is I'll do another bass on the down, and then do the down. Again. So you got bass on the low E, down, down, up, up.
kind of feel a little bit more funky, especially if you speed it up a little bit. So that might be something else you want to add to it. And sometimes as a variation on that, I like doing a bass bass down, down, up, up, bass, down, up, down, up. Where I do the low E bass twice to start it off bass, bass, and then a down, down, up. kind of a cool little uh, comp pattern that works off a different E chord and it's actually an E7 chord and, and the way you play th this particular E7 and we'll talk about some other places you could play this in a minute is you go second fret on the D string with, with the first finger second finger is going to go to the B string on the third fret third finger is going to go to the G string on the fourth fret and the pinky is going to go to the high E on, on the fourth fret and if you strum just the top four strings that's called an E7 chord and it's like a little E7 chord doing those top four strings and there's kind of a cool way you could comp the, the song too where you do the D string for the bass on that chord and then you do it down 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 and then there's kind of a little lick you could throw in where you do two four hammer on the on the on the G string and then four on the G string twice and then we go to second fret on the G and then open G so we got two four 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 you want to try and add to, to the song but then th this particular E7 is something called a drop 2 voicing for, for E7 chord and wh what you're actually doing is taking the second note above what a normal voicing would be and dropping it below it so randomly a piano voicing for this chord would be stacking it up from bass to treble E G sharp B D but what you're doing is you're taking what, what would have been the second note above that E, G sharp, B and throwing it below the root. So you're going B and then the E, G sharp, D, or at least that would be an example. The one we're actually playing is, is doing a root, and then we're playing the fifth, and then a flat seven, and then a third of the chord. So we're going E, B, and then the D, and then the G sharp. And I'm getting a little technical with the theory here. But there are a couple really easy other places you can play that chord. And one would be if you took that shape, and slid up to 5th fret, and then kind of uh, chain switched 1 and 2. We're going to take the first finger and put them on the B string 5th, second finger on the D string on the 6th fret, and you still got third, now you got third finger on the G string 7, pinky on the high E7, and if you strum the top four strings with that, that's a, another way to play that same chord. You're, now you're playing G sharp and then the D and then the E and then the D, so now you're going 3, 7, or 8, 5 for your first go all the way to ninth fret as, a, as kind of a bar over the top four strings, second finger on the high on the tenth fret, and that's those same notes in a different order. So now, now you're playing a, a B and an E and a G sharp and an E. So that would be like a little teeny E7 chord there. And then if you take the bar and kind of go to this twelfth fret and kind of bar the top four strings and put two on the G string on the thirteenth fret, so now you got twelve, thirteen, twelve, twelve. That's kind of hard on this acoustic, but <laughs> that, that's another place that you can play those same notes. So now you're playing D, G sharp, and then the B and the E. Um, so that, that might be something else to add, is you could take that strum pattern, that down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, and then switch them between those chords. So you could have down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, next E7. Might be something else you, you want to try and add to it and then another way to play an e7 chord is a root position chord it's actually pretty easy you do first finger on the g string on the first fret second finger on the a string on the second fret and if you strum all those together that's another way you can play that e7 and you can do that with that down down up up down up strum pattern down 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 Strum pattern, we go along, down, 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 down,
over one bass all the way down, down, down. same drop two chords too. And so you can kind of move around a little bit with that strum pattern because you got the open E for the bass. But then there is kind of a breakdown part where there's kind of a big down on the E. And then we have a really cool little lick coming in where you go second on the high E and fourth fret on the B string. And if you play both of those at the same time, and then kind of slide them over to fourth fret on the high and fifth fret on the B string. So we're going two, four, slide to four and five. So I'm kind of collapsing my shape there. Oh, my bad. Two and four, slide to four and five. And then we're going to play the open B and E. It's kind of just a, a, an open string thing. So you got kind of E major. And then there's another lick that comes in right after that where we do 4th fret on the high E and 5th fret on the B at the same time. And then we go 2nd fret on the G and 2nd fret on the B at the same time. And then we go open E and open B at the same time. So you're going to have your E major, 2, 4, 5, 5, open. kind of a cool little bass lick that comes in where you've got low E and then second fret on the D and then we go to the A string on the second and then fourth fret on the A and then second on the D twice and then we go low E on the fourth fret and then second fret on the A and then fourth fret on the A and then second fret on the D. So kind of all a, kind of a cool little bass line that kind of gets used in the tune for the E major chord. You got that open, two, 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 four, two, two, four, two, four, two. Oh. So anyway, that, that might be something else that you want to add in too, is kind of working that variation on the bass. Uh, another chord that I like to use as kind of a substitute for the E7 and something that, that normally gets substituted for E7, especially if you're playing jazz stuff, is a, is a chord called E9. And the way you play an E9, first finger is going to go on the D string on the 6th fret, second finger is going to go A string on the 7th fret, and the third finger can kind of bar over the G, B, and E strings on the 7th fret. And so you've got A on the 7th, or D on the 6th, and then 7th fret on the G, B, and E string all together. And if you strum all those with the low E, that's called an E9. So that's another chord that I like to add to this two tune, especially if I'm doing the, the comp patterns. Especially if I'm adding in my basses, then I got my bass. Down, 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 That's the basis of how you can play funky Broadway, so good luck!